In this case study from Henning Larsen Architects, we'll take a look at how we can optimize thermal comfort and airflow in the urban bases in the city of Clarksvik in the Faroe Islands using Autodesk Vasari. I have now opened Vasari and we'll take a look at this case study from Henning Larsen Architects on the Faroe Island in the city of Clarksvik. So the first thing I did was to import this model into a conceptual mass and import this SketchUp file into Autodesk Vasari. The next thing we'll want to do is go here to set location and this is a great thing that we're able to get the nearest and validated climate data for the specific microclimate that we want to work on. One thing to notice is here that the nearest weather station is a bit far away and is just out in the open sea. So when we look at analyzing this model here using the built-in Ecotec wind tunnel, we will have to think about that this city here is kind of in the valley here. The, the sea is on the other side here again. And that means that the wind will have a tendency to go here from the north uh, during the winter and the south in the summer. So having that in mind, we can now go in and set location. I did that before, but I just want to go that if we go to site and then say just import site mi image and say OK. And now we have import site image. I did that before just to do a, a bit of prep work. And now we can actually just hit the Ecotec wind sound tool here. So what we were looking for here in this project was to, within inside the city limits here, within inside the city, to create some comfortable spaces within inside the building here that we will have some 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 good and and quiet places without too much air going through the city here. So just working with the the massing here and. The, the envelopment to have the right effect and to create the right comfort here on the exterior spaces here. So with inside the built-in Ecotec wind tunnel here, there's really multiple ways that we can look at the result. One great thing is that if we see here, we have the wind rows displayed directly in the interface and if we scroll down here we can just click if we want to have the wind rows or we want to have a wind ch frequency chart overlay. I'm just using the, the wind rows here and what I'm looking for here is that I just turn on the, the 3D analysis display right away because if I'm using the 2D grid here I'm not able to and for some reason to to see uh, the wind frequency on the level where I want to look at it. So I'm just turning on the, the 3D display function here and now I'm able to go to the slice position and just go to the position where I want to look at it. So this is of course at a very conceptual stage where I want to work with the envelopment to create the comfort with inside the spaces here. And I can now begin from the wind rows which give me valuable information to look at that the envelopment that we created here are actually creating some quiet spaces within inside the city that was what we were looking for in this case here. So just really great that we can have that combination, having the nearest wind data, and that we're able to work with the envelopment to create exterior comfort within inside the city, in the heart of the city here in Clarkswick. So we're able to look at this in really a multiple ways on different axes and it takes a bit of time but it's quite visual to work with. But again, you're not really able to take out the data as you can capture the screen or you can record the screen. Really cool that we're able to then go in and, and work with the masses and update the massing and, and create different kinds of scenarios that we want to have within inside the, the project here.